Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He, he carried them on top of his head. Why did it find me? First he had on his own check cap, then he had on a bunch of gray caps, a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. And as he went along, he called, Cap! Cap for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street, calling, Cap! Cap for sale! Fifty cents a cap! But nobody wanted to buy any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. So, he thought, I'll go for a walk in the neighborhood. And he walked out of town. Slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cat. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. He thought, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree so as not to disturb the caps on his head. And then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. For uh, First his own check cap, then the gray cap, then the brown cap, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. Oh, rat! <laughs> and he slept for a long time. was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own check cap. He looked, oh, he stood up. And he looked to the right of him. No cap. He looked to the left of him. No cap. He looked in back of him. No cap. He looked behind the tree. No cap. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? Monkey! <laughs> That's right. Monkey. And on every branch sat a monkey. monkey. And on every monkey was a gray, or brown, or blue, or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. <laughs> and the monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. <laughs> Shaking a finger at them, he said, You do, you can give me back my cap. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You do, me back my cap. But the monkeys only shook both of their hands back at him and said, wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my cap. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, <laughs> By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both of his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you give me back my cap. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, at last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying out of the tree. So the peddler picked up the caps and put them back on his head. First his own check cap. And then the gray caps. Yeah, my cap. Then the brown caps. Then the blue caps. And then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling. Cap. Caps for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end.